to this and I'm at the Peacock Theatre for the Ballet Revolution show tonight and um, this is the warm-up class that they do every night before the show and the show starts in an hour. So I'm here with two of the dancers from Ballet Revolution and um, I've got lots of questions for you. Are you trained as ballet dancers and then you learn to do all the other dance styles or tell me about your training process. Uh, we train every day with ballet class. Mm -hmm. He's from ballet training okay. and for contemporary training. So okay. now we do it, doing, you know? Yeah, mix. We start the career for eight years. Yeah. Just ballet, you know, uh, one half an hour for ten years. So mm -hmm. for the start, the new style about the hip hop street dance. Uh, Cuban style. Uh, Cuban style. So. It's difficult, yeah, it's difficult, but it's lovely, you know? Yeah. For the end, you, you finish lovely what you're doing. It's rewarding, I guess. Yes. And what's the most difficult thing about it? For me, it's mm -hmm. the ballet. And when we do it, the choreography, mm -hmm. we must be a really cleaning. Yeah, and, and precise, I yeah. guess, yeah. But when we stay in the stage, just it just comes. Just happens. Yeah. Wow. I wish I had that talent. It just comes naturally. Like so tonight, what, yeah. what, how long will you warm up for? Ah, okay. The show is at 7.30. Mm -hmm. So we do the class like 5.30 and we stay warm. Okay. Yeah, it's like a one hour. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Thank you. So I'm here with Aaron Cash, the choreographer. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Ballet Revolution? Okay, Ballet Revolution. Well, firstly, I'm one of the choreographers of Ballet There's oh, okay. two. There's Rockland and Gonzalo yeah. Chavez as well, who's a wonderful Cuban choreographer. So it, it is that. It's a fusion of Cuban style, then you have classical dance fused with contemporary dance, mixed with hip hop, jazz, and street dance. There's a bit of crumping in there. So there's something wow. for everybody. It's a real melting pot of dance style. How much of the choreography is collaborated between the dancers and the choreographer, and how much of it is just you going, okay, learn these moves? That's a really good question mm. because as a choreographer, you've got a, it, it, a lot of it is personality management and, and also and then getting familiar with the dancers. It's very much a collaboration because you, these people are amazing artists in their own right and they bring to the table a wealth of experience and knowledge yeah. and, and steps. So when I do a piece, it depends. If it's very stylistic or it's something that I, I have a clear vision on, um, yes, I'll go in there five, six, seven, eight with steps like that. But then they might add something, especially if I'm working on a partnering piece and I'm going, I want it to flow down like that. Because everyone's body's different. I'm quite tall, so a lot of these guys are a lot shorter than me. Their chemistry and the way and their height affects them. So something yeah. I might create with you is not going to work with someone else. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll have an image in my head and say, okay, it needs to be like this. If it's not working, okay, can we change that like that? And then I'll offer something, or oh, what about this? And go, perfect. Or the other night we had to change some choreography because of the space. And um, we had five minutes to do it. And one of the other dancers just said, oh, well, I could do something like that then. I went, that's perfect, do that there, you know. But if it doesn't work, and they, they come to, to me and say, oh, what? and if it doesn't serve where I want the piece to go, then, you know, I go, no, that's not going to work yeah. there. And then I'll explain why. Because usually how I work is I have, a, it's like, a, for me, it's a mini play, you know, there's an arc to it, a reason why you're not just doing steps. Yeah. Um, and there's a couple numbers in there like that, that are like sensations, like Usher, you know, it, it's a fun commercial piece. But then, you know, Concerto, which is a chair piece, in, in the, has an arc, it's about two couples, the beginning of a relationship, the end of a relationship, mm -hmm. you know, so I explain to them what they, they, they're, they're actors. And all, that's what makes them so great too. Each one of these dancers here have they're so individual it's not a, a show of chorus dancers they're all soloist stars and, and yeah. which has been amazing to get them to come together and do those unison parts because they do have that unique quality so yes definitely it's a collaboration what do you look for in a dancer for this piece right for this piece the technique um, certainly is because it's technically it's really it's, it's a trying piece you know mm. choreographically and stamina wise so either strong classical or contemporary technique and then also versatility within that mm. these days you have dancers that do everything ballet gymnastics you know uh, hip-hop 
if you're doing tap. These guys are the same thing. So a lot of them will go out there and they'll give you perfect devil play in second and then they'll do six pirouettes and finish their, you know, in retire and then step out of it and then they'll bust into like wow. so, you know, like wow. hip hop spinning on their back, you know, and you're like, um, yeah. oh, I guess I want you. Um, <laughs> so was your job quite easy then if they could already do that? Well, yeah, in a, in a way, but also to my style, what was great? You know, they had that going, but then I came in with my style and they were like, ooh, that's a little bit different. So it was a challenge for them. So that excited them as well. What's your stuff? Well, What's like contemporary ballet, okay. you know, also jazz. You know, mm -hmm. I have a really broad, okay, so Twyla Tharp, I've danced with Cher for tap 10 dogs. years. Tap Dog. Original Tap Dog. There's a little rhythm piece in there, um, which is a little ode to Tap Dogs. So it's really eclectic, my background. And, and likewise with them, rhythmically, they're really sophisticated. You know, they're salsa, doing salsa dance from this yeah, high. Sure. Their mum and yeah, dad yeah. got them, you know, like this. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, and they syncopate everything. So okay. it's a little bit behind the beat. And you're like, hang on a second, I need to do this. Break it down. So they take your hand like this. Like, okay, <laughs> you feel like you're eight years old again, back in ballet class. You know? <laughs> but you can, can you teach me like... What do you want to know? Uh, All right, why don't we take like a basic step, step forward here like this, and then do a little body roll down through. Hang on, hang okay, on. Okay, so we're going to step again. this foot here. Step. We're going to roll down through. Oh, okay, like so that, it's like a... And then we're going to go up. Okay, okay, so we're going so one, step. two, three, oh, four. Ah, nice, with a nice <laughs> flick at the end. Oh, you're a natural, lady. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Dana.